spectators began lining up near the finish line in Boston early this morning, waiting for the runners to arrive, many of them from the Granite State. And I'm just happy to be here as part of, like I say, the cheerleading crew and just be supportive of that. These two women are here to cheer on a close friend who's running to raise money for Children's Hospital in Boston. We're excited to just be there for him and, and cheer him on and all of his teammates and, um, and the children as well. Karen Beretta and Joan Finn also here to cheer the runners on, including many friends from their running group in Nashua. We all have been pushing them to get here and it's like it's it's like a, a team. We're all together and um, we just love them. We, we're just so proud of them for doing this. We're all going to be crying. Once the runners cross the finish line, they will be greeted by medical staff. When they cross the finish line and they're in distress, my job is to help them get into the medical tent. John Dana has been working in the medical tent for 41 years. Probably two or three times they'll end up crying because there's something they see that's, that's uh, moving, not sad. I mean, it's always like, holy smokes, that person overcame this to do this race. It's it's very inspirational. Susan Startorp started volunteering in 2014, a year after the bombing. She says her daughter inspired her to start. Because she was here during the bombing, she and my other daughter, and I was so proud of them because they ran into the fray instead of away, and it just touched me so much. Susan and her daughter Jen will be handing out food to the runners as they finish, something she has cherished doing for the past eight years. We help them peel bananas, open the little packets of chips, and you've never seen anyone in your life be more excited over a banana and grateful, and it just brings tears to their eyes. Certainly a special day here in Boston, Erin. We have connected with so many people from New Hampshire who are running the marathon this year. We will bring you some of those stories starting tonight at 5. We are live in Boston. Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.